And now, an SCTV special report. In just a few moments, history will be made, and you will be here to see it with me. Good evening. I'm Walter Cronkite, and welcome to the second launch of America's celebrated space shuttle. We're just moments away from a remarkable voyage which will carry 17 to 30 astronauts to the sun and beyond to its moons <laughs> to test once and for all the protective heat-resistant tiles which cover the shuttlecraft. Of course, the Russians have a two-day jump on us, and the two big questions in everybody's minds are, can we get there before them? And uh, I forget the other one. <laughs> what? Oh, we go now live to the Kennedy Space Center to David Brinkley, who is launch side. Oh, I, David? I can't hear him. Well, somebody, somebody will have to give me a cue. No, I can't. What? Walter? Well, Walter, it's an exciting day here at the Cape. Everyone in NASA is anxiously awaiting the success of this, the third shuttle mission. And this is what all the fuss is about. These tiles must withstand temperatures in excess of 75 million degrees. It's a simple tile, Walter weighing only a few ounces. It adheres to the body of the shuttle craft by peeling off this surface, revealing a sticky side to the tile, which adheres to the body of the shuttle, <laughs> withstanding those high temperatures. Of course, the big test is, can the tile withstand the heat of the sun? Walter? Thank you, David. We go now to astronaut Gordon Cooper, who is in the ready room at Pad 52, all set to board the Columbia on this, the fourth shuttle mission. He's had the traditional huevos rancheros and eggs for breakfast this morning, and now Captain Cooper has consented to an interview. Captain Gordon Cooper. Gordon. I'm Robert Gordon. Huh? Oh. We're on a first name basis. Good, call me Walt. You know, you look better this time than you did last time you went up. What was that, the Gemini launch? Hmm? I know what? what it is. You got me confused with that astronaut, Gordon Cooper. What? Oh, back to formalities again, huh? Oh, suit yourself. Doesn't matter to me. I'm a musician. Walter? Walter? What? My name is Robert Gordon. Oh, a musician. I see. Well, We've got four or five minutes here before you blast off. If it'll relax you, I know Wally Shearer used to restring his tennis racket prior to every launch. <laughs> One of those peculiar good luck rituals that many of our fine astronauts go through. So, if you want to sing, go ahead, because we're T minus eight minutes and counting. David? Well, it's, it's got to come off sometime. <laughs> well, it's not going to burn off. What about alcohol? Well, Walter, the excitement continues to build here at the Cape of Good Horn. Over 30,000 anxious spectators having arrived this morning at 6 a.m. to await the music of rock star Robert Gordon. Of course, Walter, he is one of the hottest acts in the music business today. And many of the front row spectators will be wearing these protective and decorative tiles on their undersides to keep from burning up in the heat of re-entry. Walter? You tell that guy if he gives me a false cue again, I'll break his neck! What? Oh! I didn't hear what you said, David, but thank you for that informative report. Gordon, we're five minutes from lunch. How long is that song? I don't know couple minutes. It's a song. <laughs> Good. Well, remember, you have to leave yourself enough time to get to the Columbia for your trip to the sun. Okay. Okay, Walter. I'll do the song, then I'll climb on the spaceship and fly right to the sun. Uh, now, as long as I'm up there, uh, do you want me to uh, pick up anything on Mars or Venus? Some moon rocks, maybe? <laughs> no, no. Just make sure you get back in one piece. What a guy. I can't stand to see you 
Walter? Walter! Walter, David, you're on! Well what, well, what are we supposed to do now? I don't know. Go home. What? What's going on? They're gone, Robert. They ran away. Well, what about my second number? I mean, what should I do? Do you, do you have a tape? Not with me, but I can send one. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, let's set that up. Oh, forget it, man. I gotta go, too. 